All right, his shoulder moves very well. His arm moves very well this way. I want to isolate this particular joint. I need to grab the wrist, close the gate. This is the gate. I'm putting his wrist here on my arm so he can't pull it out. Go ahead and pull it out, right? So he's, he's strong this way. He can't come out the gate. I'm holding this nice and tight. I'm going to create the fulcrum on his elbow. His joint does not want to go this way. It wants to go this way. Right. And so as a matter of fact, for him to get out of it, he just needs to bend his elbow up. And now I don't have the arm bar. So if I keep this lock, I put the pressure here. That's the arm bar. So how do I take him down to the ground? I actually push hard and I squat and I walk back. I'm going to take my chest and I put my chest there, but he could just turn in. So I need to isolate the joint since I'm not using anything else. I push here and then now to get him down I just put my body down I am going to isolate this wrist his wrist is very flexible moves very well like this I'm going to isolate the wrist with my hands there's a point between this middle knuckle like one here and one there I'm going to touch like touch that button like I'm playing on an iPhone and then I'm going to squeeze super tight I'm going to keep my elbows in and I'm going to try to pour out a teacup like this. Pull and roll that way right there. You see that? So I roll, I'm pressing, I'm holding tight, and I'm rolling like I'm trying to pour out coffee. I'm not just trying to turn off a light switch. I'm rolling while keeping everything tight. And then I roll. Now, that should, he should feel the pressure there. Now, the takedown, I'm going to put this pressure on first and then turn, move this foot and take him down and pull him up. Nice and tight. Here, strong. Here's the pressure. Watch, I step while keeping myself strong. Don't go down. Don't go down. That pressure, that rip pressure forces him to go down. Then I'm going to pull up after I take him down. That's a wrist lock. Now, here's another lock. I'm holding this wrist. I'm going to reach under and grab the bottom of his elbow and I'm going to pull this toward me. Turn that foot back and I pull him down. I'm keeping pressure, watch my hand, keep pressure, slip through and now I've got the lock here. I can smash and watch the takedown. So I have to be careful with this. If I'm loose, he can reverse it. So I need to be strong. That's the lock, okay? Now, one more. So, so I'm holding this wrist. I'm going to transition. I'm going to pull the elbow towards me, switch to pressure here, switch to pressure here, and now this is the new lock. Pressure, push, pressure, push, lock. The takedown is the same. I step. All locks don't work on everyone. There are different body types, there are different strengths, there's different situations. He can try to put the lock on me, and I'm, I'm stronger than him, or I was quicker, and I was able to reverse it. So don't think just because you just learned the lock, I'm like, oh, I don't like you. I'm, yeah, give me your wrist. He's not gonna do that, he's gonna punch me, right? But if he's grabbed me, Oh, then I could punch him, and now I, maybe I could peel it off and get to this point. Or maybe we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting, and now I got it. Just remember, it takes a lot of practice for you to get it. This is just an introduction. Hope you like it. Thank you, Freddie, sir. No problem.